Waterfall or Agile? Which should I use? So there's been a whole movement towards Agile, but there are some situations where ag uh, Waterfall is appropriate. So Mel, I wanted to ask you, in which situations is Waterfall appropriate? So I'm going to go with this. So I think Waterfall is appropriate in situations where you need to have all those requirements ahead of time. So for example, sometimes what you end up with are software companies that want to build something for a customer. Well, that customer wants to know exactly what they're getting in return for their money. So you need to have that well-defined ahead of time so that you can have that contract out in front so that if, for example, the customer says, oh, well, I want to do some feature changes or I want to add something. Well then, okay, well then there's, there's going to be some extra effort involved. So therefore there's some financial implications and so forth. Another one is um, where we have life-saving type of uh, uh, software that's involved. So something like an airplane, uh, firmware or software that runs on board an airplane that, that could control the airplane potentially, those kind of things. Uh, also medical devices. Uh, so there's medical devices out there that have lots of software in them. And so that's something you want to know. That's that You want to know what those features are well ahead of time. You probably want to make sure that they've been tested thoroughly ahead of time over and over again. And there's probably some regulations that go along with making sure that they have some level of operational proficiency and they meet some sort of some sort of standard out there. So that needs to be defined well ahead of time and executed in a very methodical way. Uh, so I think waterfall is appropriate in, in those circumstances under those circumstances. Um, let me ask you the same question. When do you feel as a software developer, uh, when do you feel uh, 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 not agile, but the, the waterfall process is is appropriate? From a developer perspective, you know, sometimes these projects could be really small, right? Like you, it's only going to take you a couple months to finish if you were to just do it. And so sometimes there's an overhead with Agile. You got to go create user stories. You got to design them out as you're going along. And if it's a short project and you just don't have that kind of time. And I think that when it's something really short, you don't have too much time, you go with the, with the waterfall way. I mean, I myself am building a little demo that I only have two months to do. I don't have time to break everything up and think about points and do daily standups. Let's just go and do it. Um, also, I think you kind of touched upon it. If the requirements will not change and you know exactly what you need to deliver, then waterfall does make sense in that, se in that way. So I know a lot of people are, oh, we must do Agile, but we just wanted to touch upon the fact that sometimes there are situations where Waterfall makes sense. So knowing what it is for Waterfall, when would you use Agile? Well, uh, I think Agile is appropriate in cases where your business needs to uh, change and meet business demands and customers where they're at. So for example, where you have features on board an application that runs, say, on a mobile device. And those features will evolve constantly. There's no defined, okay, well, every, it, we're going to deliver this feature here, and then we'll see you later in a year. Instead, it, I think it makes more sense when you know your competitors are out there uh, providing the latest and greatest feature as things are innovating very quickly. I think that is, is one of the telltale signs where I feel like an agile approach is very, very appropriate. And that is a really large, and I'm not just saying mobile devices, I'm saying just in general, you could, it could be web-based, it could be whatever's customer facing or whoever's consuming it, where you're gonna see a rapid uh, change in technology. And so you're gonna see the latest and greatest with some kind of either functionality or features, uh, or like large functionality, what I mean by functionality is just the way it operates uh, or even just features like nice nifty features or corrections. That's another one. But sometimes you put some things out there and they're not going to be perfect. So you want to be able to course correct really quickly and be able to fix things. And eventually you start getting into, you know, the discussions as to whether or not uh, you have features over stability and these kind of things. But at least you have those options. And you need that agility in order to get that speed of business, if you will, moving quickly. And I mean, b b by business is just, you know, most products out there make money some one way or another so they could pay all their developers. Mm -hmm. We're not going to pretend like everything's free in the world. Uh, so 
keeping up at the pace of, of, of technology and business is super important. And I think that's where agile shines, uh, versus something like waterfall, because in waterfall, you would design these features ahead of time. And you have no idea if that's what the market wants. The market could have wanted it today, but six to eight months from now, maybe the market doesn't want that anymore. Maybe there's some other compelling feature or, or functionality that's been added in a different way. And your product now is just obsolete. So it's better to, to, in some ways in those environments, to have some level of agility so that you can be responsive to market changes and as well as those those things I mentioned earlier, which is like fixing things that may have broken. All right, time to flip it around and ask you the same question. When do you feel like as a software developer that agile, and by the way, this whole context I'm hoping is all in the context of software. Because of course we can apply waterfall and agile in many different ways and in different industries. I'm only focused, I think our, our discussion here, just to, as a little side note, it's only focused on software. So as a software developer, yeah. how do you feel uh, or when do you feel that using agile is appropriate? I think in almost most situations, um, I've done probably an equal split between waterfall and agile. And although the road might be bumpy to go transition from waterfall to agile, there are a lot of benefits from it from a developer perspective. Um, there is a lot more ability from a developer to be more involved in the design and put your input into it. And especially if you are working with the cloud, you have that ability to give your customers what they want quickly. You don't have to wait a long time. So if you're running a waterfall with cloud, it's like, like you said, you're going to have to wait for a long time. Just to reiterate what you said, the market changes so quickly. And honestly, it's not maybe not even the market. People change their minds all the time. I'm sure you've bought something and you loved it. And then the next day you were like, uh, I'm not sure about that. So even though you talk to the customers and you ask them, what do you want in the product? They might say something one day and change their mind the other. And that's why Agile is great just in general for software development because you do have that flexibility to make that change immediately. What if there's stories that were down the line and they said, never mind, I don't want that anymore. You can just take that out and not have to worry about it. So um, I think for most situations, from a developer perspective, Agile makes sense. Great. Thank you for your perspective. I think this was super helpful. I want to ask you, the audience, what would be the best for either one? Which one are you doing, using in your organization? And does that fit the model that we've discussed as far as when it, it be appropriate to use Waterfall versus when we're using Agile? Uh, final thoughts, Denise? I mean, I, I just want to stress that if you are using Waterfall, don't think that we're saying it's wrong. We're just saying these are there are situations where you where you use one versus the other. I think in terms of a lot of literature and industry, everybody's saying, no, you need to be using Agile. Um, we're not trying to say one over the other. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. We will catch you in the next episode of The Daily Standup.